Hey everybody, um, it's halftime of the Georgia Tech game. We ran out the clock uh, just a few minutes ago, so we are up 24 to three on Kennesaw State. And I I'm happy, I'm happy with it, you know? I was ready to never watch a freaking Georgia Tech football game in my life again after last week. Um, but my jackets actually have come out this week, pissed off, I guess, and ready to prove something. And we're handling business against an uh, opponent that we should. And I wish we had done it last week, but we're moved on now, okay? Um, I I'm going to compliment the things that I like about the team, and I'm going to – I do have some criticisms. So, uh, defense has held – I cannot believe that the defense has held this team – to three points i can't believe it it's halftime and we have actually held them to just a triple option offense to just three points which you know two years ago against the citadel um you know they were able to score on us and so clearly we do have some improvement we're flying around to the ball the defensive line is getting sacks which is cool um we only have something like one penalty that's cool um, one penalty, the penalties. Okay, so I, I made a video this past week about um, trying to find positives from the last week's game, and I forgot to mention that um, we have really improved on penalties. Uh, Samaglia is one for one today. Um, it was a chip shot, you know, 15 yard, and then of course he's made all the extra points, but it was a chip shot, 15 yarder, and he, but he made it, which he did not last week. I mean, it was 0 for 3 last week on field goals. One of them was like 60-something yards, so you can take that one off. 0 for 2 last week. Very disappointing, but, I mean, he, he we haven't really kicked a, um, even like, you know, like a 35-yard or something. So, I mean, it, it was a 15-yard or so, which is frustrating to me because I have a criticism. Um, our offense still unable to convert in the red zone we got all the way down to the red zone and we we had to kick a field goal against an fcs defense that is injured yeah um we're able to pass all over them because they have an injured secondary and i think we should keep that in mind but i when i say that this but the Georgia Tech offense that I'm seeing is what I had hoped it would be in the offseason. It's just not Sims, it's Yates. Yates looks like a total beast. I mean, he's coming out, you know, making, rolling out of the pocket, making passes, which is something Sims wasn't able to do. We were only able to see Sims play a quarter of football, though. And so it's kind of early to pull the trigger on Sims, but. You know, we wound up losing the game to Northern Illinois, which was supposedly our easiest game. Apparently this is, but, you know, if if he's unable to um, kind of get, get, get his passing game together in these first two games without, you know, us losing, that's a problem. We need to put in the quarterback right now that can win now, and that's Yates. Yates, um, I'm blown away by how good Yates looks. He can scramble. He scrambles just as well as Sims and can pass. And he knows when to, you know, when the defense jumps off sides, he knows to lob it deep. We haven't got one of those. Um, and there's been a few this week and last week. He had a few free plays, and he hasn't been able to connect with them, but he always lobs that thing deep. And, that, and you know, he just has good awareness. You know, he's calm under pressure. He can roll out of the pocket and get up to the, you know, and, and know and find his guy and, you know, it doesn't always connect. He knows when to throw it away when he's under pressure. I think w the one penalty we had last week was intentional grounding. Um, he was under a lot of pressure. But, um, of course, um, speaking of pressure, uh, oh, but yes, y Yates very good. But speaking of pressure, our offensive line, uh, we have an injury on the offensive line, Kenny Cooper. That's not good. Our offensive line, I mean, it, I don't get what people see in our offensive line. People try to tell me that their line is our line is good. I, I don't get it. I mean, 
the, there's still tons of pressure. On, I mean, next week we're going to get eaten alive uh, of this Clemson D-line. That's just what's going to happen. So it's a good thing we have running quarterbacks. I don't know what the status of Sims is. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think of everything else, but, I mean, we're just handling business like we should. And I, I wish we had done this last week. This is the team that should have been uh, out on the field last week. And it just wasn't. That's unfortunate. But, you know, it's hard to tell what this means for the rest of the season so far. I mean, I mean, we could still come out and lay an egg in the second half. But I'm happy with the way the defense has been able to – I was worried because we did get a scoop and score. We got like an 80-yard scoop and score. But that was after Kennesaw State had fielded the touchback and ran it all the way down to the red zone. But we got it back. But then the defense had to get it back and then play another drive against a triple option offense, and that worried me. But we were still able to get the stop, which actually um, is oppressive to me because I was worried about this triple option offense. And this is a freaking FCS team. Uh, that's all kinds of hurt. They're all kinds of hurt. And so as far as what this means, I mean, w at least we're not losing. <laughs> At least we're not losing. Uh, I'm happy with the results so far. Gibbs, I mean, is just doing great. I mean, he returned a punt to the 50-yard line and then absolutely destroyed some little kicker. Jordan Dominic on his scoop and score, he, like, pushed. He pushed the sissy out of the way and made him, you know, fall, and it was great. So I I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy with the way this game is going so far few little criticisms that I think will hurt us in, in the long run. There's still, you know, I'd be hooping and hollering if, you know, we had been like this from the beginning. I, I mean, I would be, you wouldn't be able to tell me anything, you know, but, you know, what happened last week happened. It is what it is, but that's going to be my halftime report, you guys. Um, so far, so good. Let's come out in the second half. I could sit here and watch us put 60 points up on this team. After last week, I could sit here and watch us, and we could on this defense. They're terrible. I hope we come. I hope we put up 60 points on them. I would love that. I, I want. I like seeing our offense score points, and so I hope we blow these guys out um, like big time. So, go Jackets! I'll see you guys next time.